Hey there, United students. Hope you guys are doing well um, on this Monday morning. Um, I don't know about you, um, but when with this extra time um, at home, I, I find myself um, doing some some deep dives. And one of the things my wife will tell you that I love doing deep dives on the internet is um, I, I love researching basketball videos. I'm looking up highlights from the mid '80s, uh, and I'm looking up uh, different coaches and uh, I, I just love basketball and I love um, just picking different people's brains or kind of getting into their minds a little bit. Um, and one of the things I love to watch are um, like shooting coaches. Um, I love learning how to shoot better. And even though I've played basketball for 20 some years of my life now, um, I love to like kind of get in the nitty gritty and the details and these fine tuning. And so I'm always looking for someone to pick their brain and, and gather some more information Half the time I send some video I found over to Pastor George and um, try to blow his mind a little bit too. But uh, that's just something that we like to do. And, and it made me think a little bit about, um, you know, I had, a, I had a coach when I was younger who taught me the fundamentals. Um, and at the time, I'm really gracious and, and grateful for that. But yet there's been depth added year after year from different people, from different moments. And, and part of it is something that's inside of me that just innately wants to get better and grow. Um, and, I, and I think the same is for our faith. Um, and I want to share a passage with you because um, basketball is great, but um, I'm not Logan, the guy who likes basketball. I'm, I'm a Logan, the father of Jesus. Uh, and I think the same for you. We, you are all sons and daughters of Jesus, and that's who you are. Um, and so one of my favorite passages of scripture all time is Hebrews 12 verses one through three. So I'm going to read it for you. And it says, um, therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and sin, which cling, clings so closely. Let us run the endurance, the race that is set before us, looking to Jesus, the founder and perfecter of our faith, who for the joy set before him endured the cross, despising the shame and is seated at the right hand of the throne of God. Um, amazing passage of scripture, one of my favorite of all time, Hebrews 12, verses 1 through 3. Highly encourage you to read it and just, just meditate on that today. Um, but one of the parts I want to think about uh, is verse 2. Um, and this is a great passage. We're coming up to Easter just to think about who Jesus is, what he has done. This lays out the gospel for us. But I love it. It says, looking to Jesus, the founder, um, or some other versions say the author, um, of our, and the perfecter of our faith. So this tells me two things. Jesus is the one who initiates that faith relationship, right? Is Jesus the one who teaches us? He's the one, he's the author. So he's the one who's writing the story. Um, we're a character in that story, but really God's the author of it. And that's encouraging to me in the midst of everything going on. Um, he's in control, but also that there's, um, he has a plan and he's, he's not caught off guard. Um, and I can, I don't know everything, so I can grow from him. And I love his idea, too, that the second piece of him being the perfecter. So that means that my faith right now, um, I became a believer when I was, you know, a young teenager, about 12, 13. Um, but I, I'm not a perfected person of faith. I, I don't know everything there is about Jesus. I don't know him as deeply then as I do now. And I hope that I don't know him now as much as I do in 20 years from now. Right, I want to grow in that relationship with Jesus. But it says that Jesus is the perfecter of our faith. So even where my faith is lacking or, um, or struggling or I have doubts, um, that's okay because he is the one who's perfecting that. But that comes from coming under a better teacher, someone who knows more than me. It's like me looking for those coaches, those um, shooting coaches, those uh, clinic guys who know more about basketball than I do because they've been around the game longer, right? So we need to continue to put our lives under the perfecter and author of our faith. And that's what it means to be a disciple, right? A disciple of Jesus is one who models everything about their life after Jesus, the way he walks, the way he talks, the way he moves, the way he talks to people, the way he interacts, and ultimately the way he interacts with his heavenly father. Um, and we see that perfect relationship with Jesus and God and, and the Holy Spirit in scripture. And that's why it's so important to get into word, not just to be like, check, I got, I got my Bible done. Um, and I think in this time, as we have some extra time on our hands, um, or maybe if you do, um, man, I think God has given us a chance to, to really go back to those basics. If I think jump shot, I'm getting my elbow in, you know, I'm bringing my thumb to my eye. I'm, I'm coming back all those basics and God's saying, Hey, who am I to you? Where's your faith? How are you walking with me? And I think there's a good chance to kind of like take a good oil check, you know, like checking the engine, make sure everything's good. 
um, and really ask ourselves like, hey, am I really walking with Jesus or do I have room to grow? And the answer is yes, we all have room to grow. Um, and I see about, you know, some people say, well, well, man, I want to do that when it's, it's easier. It's, it's, it's a lot better. And I, I ran across this quote the other day and it's from Aaron Daly. He's a pastor in Arizona. It says, God always does his work of sanctification, sanctification, not by bringing you out of the disorder of chaos, but by making space right in the middle of it. Man, I don't know if you're like me, but man, it's a little bit chaotic. Um, you're learning how to do school online. Um, I'm taking my seminary classes online. Um, still being a husband and working, and, and, and yet I can't leave my house, and that's a little bit chaotic. But if you look at it, we are probably best suited, just like we see in Scripture. Um, Paul writes all his letters in the New Testament based on the fact like he's always writing a letter to someone he's not near. He's always, maybe he's in prison, maybe he has to go somewhere else, but he's always having to write a letter saying, hey, I wish I could be with you. But the reality is there's this distance between us. Or even in the Old Testament, we see there's exile, there's exoduses, there's famines. Also, they're waiting for the Messiah for hundreds of years. There's always this moment of waiting and, and, and anticipation or, or hoping to be together and um, or restoration. And what we see is Jesus is in the business of restoring hearts, lives, souls. That's who he is. God does in our lives now. There's that moment of salvation, but he is continuously perfecting our faith, right? And he's the author. He's the one writing the story in that this chapter, this, this COVID-19, this is a piece of it, but I, I think that there's a much bigger story to be played out here. And so wherever you're at this morning, if you're just starting your journey with Jesus, um, you've been a believer for a few years, the, the reality is there's more to go. There's depths to go. The more I learn about Jesus, the more I realize I, I feel like I didn't even know him before, right? Paul says in, in 1 Corinthians 3, he talks about this idea of spiritual milk and meat about, you know, hey, I, I couldn't give you the deep stuff because you're not ready for it yet, right? That's in um, chapter 3, verses 2. And, and the reality is like, that's who Jesus is. And he wants to like, or Paul's talking about spiritual things that he's like, hey, I have these ideas and this knowledge of Jesus that you have, don't know yet. And like, I want you to go deeper, right? And so maybe today, this is a chance for you to go deeper. Um, and so how do we do this um, really practical? I'm going to post um, a, a post on our, our Instagram page next after this about um, just an exercise I do. And so I have this journal and I just want you to pick a page, get a journal, get a notebook, whatever it is, and just like write out what you think it means to like follow Jesus, what, what parts of that? Maybe, and if I'm just helping you out, maybe it's things like prayer. Maybe it's um, God, Holy Spirit, Jesus. Like, what are all those things? Like, what is this thing we called faith and faith journey? And um, I encourage you to take this time and, and really evaluate. What do I know about Jesus? What do I know about, um, maybe it's God's character. Maybe it's um, prayer, why prayer is important. I don't know. Write those things down of what you think faith is. Um, this walk, this Christian walk, this Christian journey, um, walking with Jesus, however you want to say it. And really, how do you know that? Is it an experience where you taught that? Is there this verse? Is there, and I encourage you to write it down because the things that you can articulate are generally the things you know. I can teach basketball because the things I know in my head and what I've experienced um, and the things I've done myself. Um, so when I coach it, I, I know because I, I've lived it out a little bit. And I think that's a little bit with our faith. We can say we know all this stuff here and here, but if we can't like articulate it, we're probably not living it out. Um, and so what I, what I encourage you this morning, and I'll, I'll write my example for you, is, is write down some, write down like kind of like everything you know and believe, and even the things you're, you're doubting this, like, how is God good or the questions you might have, write it all down and, and let this be a guide of your prayer in our conversation this week. Okay. So I'm going to cut off there. I would love to keep preaching to you guys all day long, um, but I love you guys so much. Um, and I'm looking forward to engaging with this practice this week as we build towards Easter and we just get to celebrate Jesus for who he is, the author and the perfecter of our faith. Love you guys.